Money back if your horse finishes second to the SP favourite in any Channel 4 or RTE race during Cheltenham. We move on to Thursday and the World Hurdle. Um, you're currently top price boys sports on the three favourites in the market, Leon, so take us through that. Well, I think you... The, I mean, there's probably a little tip in that, in that this is as wide open as any World Hurdle I can remember. Mm. I mean, like, we are top price to three of them. I think you can probably take out one of them. I don't think any power will run in the World Hurdle. Look, we're not running no bet now for an age anyway, so it doesn't matter. You can back her. If she doesn't run, you'll get your money back. So, I mean... Mm. There's no risk, but I think she'll go in the mares. Zar Kandar, um, he won a triumph hurdle at Cheltenham. Um, he's been well beaten. I think he's run in two champion hurdles. Um, and I think he was fourth in this race last year. Safir Daru, for the life of me, I can't understand why Safir Daru was 5-1 to one and Whisper is 14-1. to one. If you look back at that race in Foslas, um, there was absolutely nothing between them. And then Whisper after Cheltenham last year when he won a Coral Cup and Donna won a grade one at Aintree. So I definitely think he's a better horse in the spring. I think the better ground will suit Whisper and a 14 to one, he's a cracking each way bet. Of the rest of them, in my opinion, of the rest of them, Rock on Ruby loves Cheltenham. I think he will stay. I think if it's decent ground, I think it'll be a hindrance. I think he wants a bit of soft. He wants a bit of give in the ground, but he's eight to one. Lieutenant Cunnell or Cornell is eight to one. And on Temps per two, the pipe horse is 12 to one. Noel Mead's horse, Monksland. Mm. Um, if you look at him, two years ago, he won the grade one here over Christmas when he beat uh, Ruby was on Zaipur. He came back then after two years off the track and he finished, I think he was toured and then he was second to the dig out down in Gowron on ground he would have absolutely hated. The better ground, I think, will give his Monksland a chance but I'm not getting away from Whisper at 14 to 1. I think that's a cracking each way bet in a wide open world hurdle. Davey, rock on Ruby, 8 to 1, um, stands out for me. Your thoughts on the. He obviously loves Cheltenham, former champion hurdle winner, of course. And what do you think? Yeah, um, again, rock on Ruby, he, he, a, a huge liking for the track. Um, I, I ride um, Jetson in it, yeah. and he, he's had two tough battles with Lieutenant Colonel. Um, you know, and Je Jessica Harrington has done the thing and put them away and kept him fresh for this and given him one rattle at trying to win a world hurdle. He, he, he was a great one winner at the Punchdown Festival last year. So, you know, we're hopeful at a, uh, for a big run out of him. Um, uh, Zerkanda, for me, I have a huge worry the way he pulled up in front in Ascot, I think, the last day. It was, it was disgusting to what, what he'd done. I think um, young Twiston Davis gave him a super ride, mm. done nothing wrong and went to go about winning his race and he pulled up. Um, for me, the, I, I think Lieutenant Colonel is a typical horse. He's, he's young. Uh, he started the season as a novice chase, so it wasn't good enough on back hurdling and has won two grade ones. Um, he's done very little wrong. Um, and f for me, I think, you know, the Irish form is, is, is every bit as good as the English form. Anything stand out for you, Gordon? <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel is very popular with the Irish punters at the moment, I think. Yeah, I had him as a, as a three and four year old uh, young horse point to point, and we didn't get to run him. He's a smashing, big, good looking horse, and always done everything right. But he was just too big to run him and got a few niggly problems. But um, Sandra Hughes is doing a great job with him this year. Um, I don't know if he's good enough to win it. He, he just bet Jetson here the last in Leopard Zone. For me, Jetson could be good enough to be placed in the stairs hurdle, but he's not good enough to win it. Um, I still think Sir Kander, I think it's an open race, but I, I think Sir Kander, I disagree with Davy. I think if Sam held on to him a little bit more, he definitely would have won an Ascot. Um, for me, listen, I think it's an open race, but I do have a few quid in Sir Kander. Okay, Liam, who do you fancy? Well, when, when Biles went um, non running no bet, I went in and backed any power, and I prayed that Willie would run her here because I think he'd win the mares with Glenn's Melody if any power wasn't in it. And I'm quite happy to let the bet go. And if, it, if she doesn't run, I'll get my money back. Yeah, I, I mean... But I'd, I'd be... I'd, if, I, if I had to have a bet outside that, I'd, uh, I'd have a few Bobby Trey and Zarkander because uh, I think that horse was in front and uh, I think you know if he was ridden from the back and god I'm no jockey but if he was ridden with a bit more restraint he wasn't that far behind him last year and uh, to me he looks a better horse and has a kind of a different preparation this year uh, but yeah it, it looks like Annie Power if you listen to Willie and Ruby that she probably will go for the mares is that fair to say yeah she, they're, they're two grade one races now so it doesn't really make any difference on her CV she's a grade one whether it's the mares or whether it's the oak I'd say Willie be going for the one he thinks he can win her first run of the year he might be 
He's going. I'd say the safe route going for the mayor's hole. You if you had her now, you'd go for the mayor's hole garden, would you? Definitely. Yeah. I'd, be go, I'd be going for the winner. Like yeah, I couldn't mm. care what race I win in Cheltenham. No. Winner's what you want. A winner's what you want. That's what they're looking at. You know, it'd be different if it was a Grade Two or a Grade Three or something. But I'd say she'd run in that. Uh, I don't know. I have no strong opinion on that race. I think it's a weak race. I think something could pop up. Sakanda has an each way chance. So has Safar the Rue. I'd be hard pressed to have a, to have a bet in it. As you, Leon says, Whisper may be there at 14 or 16 to 1. Even Jetson had a big price to be placed, but I really wouldn't be over the moon about any of them. What about Rev de Sibylla, uh, Leon? I, I horse I like just seems to bound off and sure, look, catch me if you can. That's the strategy with it. You know, what do oh, you think? Absolutely. Come here. Um, do you know yourself, like if you back him, he's going to go off in front um, and he's going to try He's going to try his best, um, like in boring the rest of them. He wasn't beaten that far by Safir de Rue yeah. um, the last day. And look, like Safri de Rue, he tried chasing, and people are trying to put an analogy with Big Bucks. Is that like, a worry, though? That? That's absolute crazy. We're trying to put him in the same category as Big Bucks. It's nonsense talk. Yeah. Just because one fella jumped fences and he came back to hurdles the same as the other fella was in the same colours and the same trainer. <laughs> it's ridiculous talk. So, why should Reb de Savola be 20s and why should Safri de Rue be 5s? Safri de Rue, to me, is my biggest lay of the entire week. I cannot see him win the world hurdle. Cannot see him, and 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 and, and just won't have him. So what and price would you what price would you give punters? If well, look, come here, listen. Well, <laughs> <laughs> listen, come here, listen. Sure, already top price of fives. If anyone wants them, <coughs> they can have them at thirteen to two from me personally tonight. I'll take it on. I'll take all the cash myself. John Boyle can, can leave off this one. I'll take on Safir Daru if anyone wants them. But I think look, you'll, um, be, you'll be sponsoring races next, will you? <laughs> you want to be looking. <laughs> you want to be looking. <laughs> with the Leon Blanche champion. You want, to be, looking, next week. You want to be looking at a couple of horses that have a bit of value and I think just in a race of this nature Whisper for me is a crack in each way better 14th